Hey there! In this little tutorial I would like to show you how to make this little stylized fire particle effect. You could for example use it to make a little campfire out of it. Or even a postcard for your loved one. So let's go! So first of all, download the zip file from the video description. Then open After Effects, go to your file explorer and open the campfire blank file. I already put the AI file in here and set everything up so you don't need to do that anymore. If you want to do it yourself you can simply drag the AI file into After Effects and make sure to import it as a composition. Then you can simply arrange the layers as I did here. Okay so in order to create the fire first of all create a new solid layer. Make sure that it's completely white and that it fits the actual size of your composition. Then click OK. And let's rename it to something like Fire Particles. Then simply drag it between those two layers. Next go to your Effects and Presets panel and search for Particle World. Then drag it and put it onto your solid layer. Now we already got this like bursting particle effect in here, but this doesn't look like what we want, so let's change it. First of all, for the grid and guides, we only need the radius, so you can just get rid of the other stuff. Then let's go down to the producer first, put it into position, so drag the Y position down until it matches up with the position of your fire pit. Then you can close this again. For the birth rate, we're gonna go with 0.1 and for the longevity we're gonna go with 2. Next thing we want to do is making the particle look like bubbles. For that we're just gonna go into particle, change the particle type from line to texture disk and for the texture layer we're gonna choose the fire particles layer that we just created, so the, the solid layer. And this is why it's important that you put the color of your solid layer to white because the texture layer will take this color as the base color and apply the other colors on top. So if you change it to black, the particles will also appear black. But if you change it to white, you are free to like change the color to whatever you want. Now, once you've done that, you can close this again. Go to your birth color and choose this inner circle. Then for your death color you can choose this outer circle or you can just make it a little darker. I think this looks just a little better. Now for the opacity we're gonna put it on 100 so the particles won't have any like fading effect or something because this doesn't really look like fire. For the birth size we're gonna go with 0.4 and the death size will be something like 0.001. Or you can simply just put it to zero. I think it just looks a little better like this. So for the size variation we're gonna choose something like 15 maybe. And for the opacity map, which is actually like how the opacity will evolve, we're just gonna remove all of this stuff. So just take this pen tool here, you will get it by hovering in this window and just like draw over it. So like just remove all of the white stuff. For the physics, which is the last step we still need to do because this do doesn't really look like fire yet, we're just gonna open this physics tab and put the animation type to fire. And this will already make it look more like fire. So first of all put the velocity to zero, put the gravity to something like 0.3, put the resistance to 10 and the extra amount to something like 0.27. So this is our particle effect. For these circles on the ground I simply animated them by animating the size using keyframes and then putting a loop out expression on it with the value of circle. If there are any questions left feel free to ask them on our discord server. Of course you can also go into the illustrator file and just customize the birds. 
maybe to something that you and your partner like and then you could simply make a postcard out of it or maybe a little gift and give it to your loved one. I think this would be a pretty cute idea. I really hope you enjoyed this video and could learn something new. If you have any questions left, as I said, ask over on Discord or in the comments. And now just have a great day, have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow and stay safe. Bye.